we are here today to celebrate the 100th year anniversary of the Denzel Carousel at the park. We are grateful to have received generous support from donors for this celebration. Well, hello everybody. It is so great to be here at Glen Echo Park. I am so honored to be the District 1 representative of this amazing cultural and historic treasure that so many of our families and our children have the opportunity to enjoy. Honored to be able to serve on the board of this amazing organization and to be here for this exciting event. It's amazing to think about 100 years ago, following a terrible global pandemic, this carousel came and provided opportunities and inspiration and fun and enjoyable moments for children. And following this pandemic, this newly renovated, beautiful carousel is going to be doing the same for the next hundred years. So I remember riding the carousel. I also remember like the, all the kids would line up to get on the carousel because you couldn't just walk up and get on a lot of days. And you'd be in line waiting, waiting to get on here. But I love this park. And when I got you know, older, my, my kids came here and they would take the art programs over in the yurts over that, that were so great. So this is had a long life and been successful. I'm really happy about the partnership that Montgomery County now has. Uh, we will be maintaining this. Looking forward to a ride. Um, I think my favorite animal is the horse, and I remember being afraid of the lion or tiger. Or... <laughs> I was a little kid, you know, so it was scary. Uh, but it's not so scary now, so it's really good to be back here, and I'm looking forward to visiting when everything is back in full swing and helping make sure that we do our part to keep this and make this a premier institution in this region. So thank you all. Hey, welcome to Derby Day. <laughs> I'm betting on the Denzel horses. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a little kid. Give me a buck. I'm going to buy a ticket like you did. And then I'm going to hop on my favorite horse and gallop into that wonderful world of childhood where every dream is possible. That's the magic. And that's the carousel magic that we want to continue to give to future generations. 20 years ago, uh, it was mentioned before that uh, 80, uh, I'm sorry, was it 500? that was raised for the renovation of the carousel, which really included painting all of the menagerie animals, which took that period of time by Rosa Patton. And now they are looking so beautiful. And if you notice, one of them was preserved in its original condition, so you could appreciate the work that was done. It is artwork. I can't believe that for 70 years this wooden building and all those hand-carved animals were unprotected and yet survived. And now, again, we need a replacement suppression system. This year, the carousel was awarded one of the Maryland State Arts Council's Heritage Awards, an honor bestowed annually to people, places, and traditions that exhibit long-term achievement in the traditional arts. This beautiful piece of art succeeds on multiple levels in this regard. First, it's a piece of craftsmanship that harkens back to an earlier age of woodworking, painting, and decorative sculpture. Its makers at the Denzel Carousel Company were among the finest artisans in this unique art form of creativity. Second, this year marks the carousel's 100th birthday, as we've heard earlier, having been installed on park grounds in 1921 and serving as a focal point and family gathering space since long before any of us were born. Third, and most importantly, the carousel played an integral role in the civil rights movement in the 1960s. The park was segregated at the time, but black protesters rode the carousel anyway in an act of civil disobedience. Although they were, thank you, yes, yes, applause for them. This is a great day, and, and congrats to everyone for being here. You know, Glen Echo Park, and I'm here in my capacity as an Education and Culture Committee, and we have a role to play in the arts and humanities uh, here in, in, uh, in our county. This is a significant day. A hundred years is a big, big day. Um, this brand new carousel uh, that was brand new in 1921, rather, 
was the third carousel. I, this was interesting, I wanted to mention this, that wasn't mentioned yet, that was installed here at Glen Echo. Uh, besides horses, it featured, as was mentioned, I think by Carol, gra giraffes, rabbits, ostrich, ostriches, a lion that a uh, county executive has told us he's scared of, a deer, uh, and two chariots uh, for those who want to be a little more laid back. Um, and it became known then uh, as attendance started to grow right at that point, um, the premier Washington amusement park in the 20s. Um, as was mentioned by our previous speaker, sadly, that wasn't the case for everybody. Um, we know that as part of this region in this country, uh, there was segregation in place. Um, and that brave day, uh, you know, 61 years ago when 12 white residents purchased tickets for 12 black residents to come and did the handoff just out there to come and ride this carousel um, and some famous pictures and you've seen that memorialized here. Uh, this is the 60th anniversary, uh, just March 30th, the 60th anniversary of the park being desegregated. Uh, so we're not only celebrating the 100th year of this, we're celebrating the 60th year of desegregation. I think that deserves a round of applause yeah. as well. And, and even though, it's just a reminder of what happens and how much we have to continue to work, the park had been free prior to that point. But when they desegregated, they started charging an interest fee. Um, and we know that there continues to be, as we've seen in voting and we've seen in a whole set of uh, issues even to this day, there still are barriers that are erected to keep certain things in place. Uh, and that entrance fee, as well as other social pressures, really for a long time kept families like mine uh, and others who grew up in the area from really enjoying the park fully. And that, and some of that, if we're honest, holds to today. Um, and so one of the things that I was so excited to come and speak about was this carousel, this park really represents our history, it represents where we've come from, where we have to go, and how progress is continual and we must stay vigilant uh, in ensuring that we're bringing everyone into the great things that this community has to offer. Um, and the leadership here, Connie, the board, everybody, the Park Service, the county, my colleagues, the executive, our congressional delegation, our state delegation, we're all committed to that, uh, to make sure that everyone can enjoy this wonderful park. It's funny, as soon as I came in, someone asked me, have you uh, been to the park with your girls much on the carol zone? And, and I had to think, and I said, no, they've only been here once. And it was for a formal event. And so I will be here this summer, God willing, with my family, and I'll bring a few with me. So congratulations. This is very exciting. Uh, and we will do our part, as Mark said, to make sure we keep this up so that everyone in our county, our state, and our region, in our country can enjoy this place and learn about its great history. So congratulations. Thank you. Hey, everybody. What a special treat it is to be together on this gorgeous, beautiful day where uh, you got to believe people across the country are using their national parks at Yosemite and Grand Canyon and here, Rock Creek and Glen Echo. Uh, and that too is a product of the, the vision and the commitment of uh, prior generations of people who believed in the public thing of preserving our park so we could have uh, an extraordinary uh, experience with our families of nature and also an extraordinary experience with culture, recreation, amusement, and history. Um, and uh, as Councilman Juwando says, there's, uh, there's a special meaning and significance uh, to this centennial anniversary of uh, the carousel, not because it's just been the scene of so much joy and delight for the smallest of kids, but uh, also because it's been the scene of social struggle and change and transformation for us. And, you know, there's a uh, a local girl who grew up to become a documentary filmmaker named Atlanta Trackman, uh, who's from Bannockburn, who's making a, a movie uh, and a beautiful documentary about this one day. I know back to a merry-go-round telling the story of the struggle of the students from Howard who um, uh, trained their sights on desegregating the amusement park and worked with uh, the community in Bannockburn. And that was a great uh, victory and uh, a point of real pride for our community that so many Montgomery County residents and Washingtonians and young people got involved uh, in the struggle to desegregate uh, the Glenico Amusement Park. And that proceeded just by several months, the beginning of the Freedom Rides, 
uh, down south. And there were, I think, seven or eight people who had participated in this desegregation uh, struggle who then went down south and participated in the Freedom Rides, which, of course, were the, you know, a critical component of desegregating America. Um, so we, we got so much to celebrate here. Um, and uh, I'm proud to be of a community that remembers its past, that's honest about its past, that celebrates uh, what's great um, in our community and is honest about the things we've had to transcend and overcome. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a gorgeous, beautiful day for us. And uh, here's to uh, a community that believes in childhood and believes in the magic of childhood and uh, making um, experience as special and as scintillating as possible for each and every kid. Thanks so much. We accomplished together what could not be done separately. In this partnership, we all have some exceptional abilities. For Glen Echo Park Partnership for Arts and Culture, you're nimble, creative, you provide quality programs, you sustain a community connection, and you are and you understand arts and culture. Montgomery County, you're a community focus. You understand and engage your citizens and have an array of technical skills and support. To David and to Ken, I appreciate that. For us, the Park Service, we're durable. We're a recognizable brand. We're public stewards in the perpetual business with an array of historic buildings, cultural sites, and outdoor recreation that can provide transformative experiences. These provide the basis for us coming together and accomplishing more than we could have ever done on our own. I'm Senator Susan Lee, and this is my district, District 16. We're so proud to have Glen Echo and this wonderful carousel in our district. On behalf of my wonderful colleagues, Delegate Mark Corman over there, Delegate Sarah Love, and the whole District 16 team and the whole state of Maryland, we are wildly and joyfully happy to be part of this celebration because uh, this is uh, a national treasure. And now, look what we've done all these years. We've uh, been able to bring this park back alive. Now children can enjoy wonderful performances like Adventure Theater. We, uh, people can go and do ba uh, ballroom dancing. I, I don't, I'm a terrible dancer, but I, 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 at least it's here so we can have it. And uh, also our wonderful artists, they can create their masterpieces here and share it with the entire community. So we're really, me and my colleagues here, we're so happy to be. Thank you for letting us be a part of this celebration. I know you're all waiting for this. This is really the key moment. I want to announce the winner of the contest for the favorite animal on the carousel. Um, it is the Rose Horse. So for anybody who voted for the Rose Horse. <laughs> Thank you.